Oh, hey, hey, it's you guys. Hey, boys and girls. Oh my gosh. I am so glad that you guys found me here in my science lab. What, what is that weird? Yeah, I have a science lab. When I'm not teaching you guys on Sunday, I come and I do work in my science lab. It kind of makes me relaxed and, and let's face it. I mean, if you think this is weird, like you obviously haven't been anywhere else this week because this week has been weird. This has been a really weird week. I went to Walmart the other day. There was no toilet paper or chicken. Who needs a whole lot of toilet paper and chicken? That's weird. And then, oh my gosh. And then you guys used to go to school. None of you go to school anymore. You're all homeschooled. That's weird. If you don't think that's weird, go ask your mom. It's really, 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 really weird. And you guys are probably bored because you used to go outside and play with your friends. And now you can't go play with your friends. Now your mom's like, go play video games. That's weird. This week is weird. And usually you guys see me at church and we're not at church. I'm in my science lab and you're in your living room and that's weird. I miss you. I miss you. I miss you. I miss you. But I am so happy that you are here with me right now. And I can't wait. I can't wait to share some stuff with you. Yeah. Yeah. This is a real science lab. Like you don't, you don't think it's a science lab. It's totally a science lab. Oh, the box. Yeah. The box. I just got these boxes today. Maybe, maybe if we can get through this other stuff, then we'll, uh, maybe we'll open this. It is explosive though. So we have to be careful. Can you be careful? We're going to be super duper careful and maybe we'll get to what's in the box. So this morning I was reading my Bible. I was reading my Bible because I love to read my Bible, especially when things are weird. Like I was reading my Bible and it said something really cool. In Proverbs chapter three, verse five, it says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. And I was like, God, that is good because when things are weird, sometimes we get nervous or sometimes we get scared or sometimes we just want to know what's going on and we don't really totally know what's going on. So it says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not depend on your own understanding. And I was like, hmm, okay. Well, I definitely don't understand what's going on this week. I don't think you guys understand what's going on this week. I definitely don't know what's gonna go on next week or the week after that. I don't know when you guys will be back in church with me, but I know that I don't have to understand that I'm gonna trust in God and what he says and that I don't have to lean on my own understanding. And then when I kept reading, when you go down to Proverbs 3, 19, oh my gosh, it gets even better, you guys. It says, by the wisdom, or by wisdom, the Lord laid the earth's foundations. We've been talking about foundations in children's church. I love it. So through understanding, he set the heavens in place. By wisdom, the Lord laid the earth's foundations. Through understanding, he set the heavens in place. So I'm not supposed to lean on my own understanding and my own wisdom, but when I trust God, Oh my gosh, he's the same God that put the heavens in place. And when we understand, you guys, that God made everything, like it is so much easier to trust him. So I don't know if some of you really understand that though. God made everything and he wants us to trust him, but we're gonna start with a video. I want you to watch this video about how God created everything. And then we're gonna come back and talk and maybe see what's in one of these boxes. God's story. Creation. So part of God's story is about when he created the world, and it begins like this. Before the beginning of time, there was nothing, nothing at all. No earth, no light, just emptiness. It was like the inside of a basketball, or a cup after you drink all the milk out of it. But God was there, and he had an idea. He wanted to fill up the emptiness. And guess what? Since he's God, he can make things appear just by speaking. It's like if you could say, let there be a roller coaster, and then any kind of roller coaster you wanted just appeared. So in the middle of nothing, God said, let there be light, and the darkness was filled with light. Now, we know what light is, but remember, it had never existed before. Everything God made was brand new. So it was probably like when you're asleep and someone comes in the room and flips on the lights, except there were no people yet. God was creating a world for them first. Anyway, light was the first thing God made. He called the light day and the dark night. He made a huge space above water and called it sky. Then he gathered all the water, separated it from dry ground, and called it sea. 
He called the dry ground land. God called it all good. He thought what he had made was pretty sweet. But he wasn't done yet. All that land was still bare. So God made plants. Oak trees, palm trees, evergreen trees, grass, roses, sunflowers, and every other type of tree, bush, flower, or plant, including the ones we eat, like broccoli and Brussels sprouts. Then God looked at all the plants and called them good. Kids, that includes vegetables. After plants, God created the sun to shine all day and the moon to shine at night. He sprinkled twinkling balls of light in the sky and called them stars. And guess what? He called that stuff good, too. Next, God filled the water with fish and whales and sharks and squid and every other sea creature. He filled the sky with flapping, chirping, squawking birds. And what do you think he called the fish and birds? Yep, good. Even though sometimes birds poop on our heads. Now there were fish and birds, but still nothing but plants on land. So God said, let there be animals. And animals of all kinds came crawling, scurrying, snorting, stomping, and racing across the dry ground. And just like everything else, God called the animals good. God was almost done, but he had one more thing to create that he had imagined from the very beginning when the earth was still empty. People. And he was going to love this creation more than anything else. See, the land and sky and animals and plants were beautiful, but none of them are as precious to God as we are. So finally, God created Adam. But God soon saw that Adam needed one more thing, a family. So God created Eve. And God's plan was for the two of them to have babies and live in this perfect world forever. No hunger, no sickness, no sadness, no loneliness, no dying. God took care of their every need like a loving father. It was perfect. God loved all his creation. Remember, he had called it all good. But when he looked at Adam and Eve and felt such a strong love for them, he called everything he had made very good. Then he rested to enjoy his perfect world. And that's the story of creation. So in case you missed it, here's the quick version. The earth was empty. God made light and dark. God made the sky and seas. God made plants and fish. God made birds and animals. He said all this stuff was good. Then he made Adam. Adam needed a family. So God made Eve. God called everything very good. Then God rested. And that's a part of God's story. Welcome back. Oh my goodness. What, what, why am I dressed this way? Well, it's not because of any virus. That'd be weird. I'm dressed this way because we're about to do some science. I opened up my explosives box and this is what was inside. Okay, you guys, wasn't that a great video? God made everything. I just thought when I was watching that, it was probably pretty weird the first time that God made a hippopotamus or a cactus or a banana. I never thought bananas were weird until now, but are you guys ready? Are you ready to do some science? Okay, I kind of read some of the directions. I didn't read all of the directions. Basically though, it's explosive, like I think, because the box says it's explosive. And then there are these bottles. So I put the liquid in the bottles and then there's these explosive tablets that were supposed to drop into the bottle. So I think there's two in a pack and I thought, you know what? Let's use four. <laughs> you wanna use four? Okay, all right, we'll use four. Oh, let's use four. All right, and then I think we're supposed to break these and then we're supposed to put them into the bottle. And I have all this gear on in case it explodes. So this is what I need you guys to do. Watch like this. All right, are you guys safe? All right, are you safe? Make sure your brother or your sister or your dog, whoever's with you right now, make sure they're safe too. Okay, and then we're gonna count down. I'm gonna need you guys to help me. I'm gonna see if we can make an explosion happen. All right, Let's see, I'm gonna pick up as many of these things as I can. We're gonna drop them in the bottle. Okay, we're gonna count down from five. Five, four, three. Who I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Are you nervous? I'm not nervous. I'm not nervous. I'm not nervous. Okay, three, two, one. That's weird. That was gonna explode. 
It's doing something. It's not doing very much though. <sighs> I didn't really read the I didn't really read the instructions. Maybe maybe I could read I mean it's bubbly. It smells bad. <sighs> I guess I could read the instructions. Okay. So it says here the two good thing I, I have extras. So let's put the two. Oh, 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 okay. It says only use two tablets and it has a balloon. I'm supposed to put those two tablets into this balloon. And so, hmm, good thing. I think I have an extra bottle. Let's see. Let's see what happens. I would really love if this could explode. It's been so boring around here lately without you guys here. And then all my favorite stuff to do is closed. And so I thought, you know, I'm gonna come to the, to the lab and have some fun, but this experiment hasn't been any fun. All right, so let's see. I put them in the balloon, Ugh. check. All right, then it says to put the balloon over top of the bottle. Huh, I would have never ever thought to put the balloon over the top of the bottle. I'm gonna shake our tablets down inside there and see what happens. Oh, 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 this one, I saw it getting fizzy. Oh my goodness, look at the balloon. Oh, oh. Are you guys watching this? This is pretty cool. I didn't know. <laughs> Whoa, that was weird. It actually blew off of the table. I had no idea, no idea that that was about to happen. You guys, how cool was that? When we were looking at this bottle, we saw what we thought we saw in the bottle. We saw the bubbles happening and we saw, it didn't look that impressive. Yeah, it was kind of like so-so. But when we followed the directions and we looked at this balloon, <sighs> the cool part of the experiment wasn't actually what we could see happening in the bottle. It was the part that we could not see. And so the balloon, it trapped the gases that was coming up from all the bubbles. And that was actually the really coolest part of the experiment. Did you guys know that God is kind of like that? Sometimes we focus on what we can see. We focus on the weird things around us. We see a hippopotamus, we're like, that's weird. We see a cactus, we're like, that's weird. We see coronavirus, we're like, that's really weird. We're home from school, that's weird. All these weird things are happening. And we focus on those things, you guys, but God is everywhere. He's like the gas in this balloon. When we weren't looking for it, we couldn't even see it. But when we looked for it, oh my gosh, I see evidence of God all around us because he created everything. How cool is that? So we know that God created everything and we know that he is everywhere. And that reminds me, you guys, it reminds me of a verse that I read this morning in my verse of the day on my computer. It said, so do not be afraid. I am with you. Do not be terrified. I am your God. I will make you strong. I will help you. My powerful right hand will take good care of you. I always do what is right. That's in Isaiah 41.10 in our Bibles, boys and girls. How encouraging is that? You know what? I'm so excited right now. That is so cool. <sighs> it's so good. When we started today, I was like, man, today is really, really, really weird. It's really, really weird. But when we focus on God's word, we focus on what he's done, that he made everything, including you and me. We focus on that he is everywhere. And then we know that he always, always, always does what is right. And he's fighting hard to take care of you and me, and he sees us and he'll never, ever, ever leave us. Then I feel better. Do you feel better? I definitely feel less weird. You guys, I have a verse that we can learn this week. 
And if we memorize this verse, it reminds us to focus on what is good and all of the good things that God has done. Are you guys ready to learn a verse? Have you been sitting still long enough? So this is what I need you to do. I need you guys to stand up. Some of you aren't standing up. Stand up. Stand up. Tell your mom, your dad, your cousin, whoever's next to you right now, tell them to stand up. You guys stand up and we're going to learn this verse together. dancing things 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 that song is catchy oh my gosh don't you guys feel good today started out weird but i am so excited i'm so pumped right now you guys let's review everything that we have learned today so first we know that god created everything. God created the plants. He created the trees. He created birds. He created cactuses. He created you. We know that God is everywhere. Even though we can't see him, we know he is there. And the very best part, you guys, he is looking out for us. And God always does what is right. So you guys, even though things seem kind of weird right now, know that God is with you. He loves you. I love you. I miss you. I miss you. And I cannot wait for you guys to come back to church. Ah, I am praying for you guys that this is over super duper, duper soon. But I have a challenge for you this week. I have a challenge for you because I believe that if we memorize scripture and we hide it in our heart, when things are weird for us, you guys, then we go to that. We remember it. We, we pull it out. The Holy Spirit reminds us of those words and we can use them and that we can be encouraged and we can encourage others. So my challenge to you guys this week is to memorize Philippians 4, 8. So go back to that song. You can watch this video and use the hand motions. You feel silly dancing, but memorize Philippians 4, 8. You guys, we're going to come back together on Wednesday. Everybody say Wednesday. Wednesday at 2 p.m. on NH Kids Facebook, on our NH Kids Facebook, I will be live, 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 live. So I'd love for you guys to hop on. We'll talk about today's lesson. We'll talk about how your weeks are going. Um, it'll be a great break from your school day, you guys, as you're all homeschooled. That's weird. Um, and I'd love to connect with you, your parents. And so we'll be on NH Kids Facebook, 2 p.m. on Wednesdays, as long as this is going on. So let me pray for you guys. And then we're going to have a really great day. Dear God, Lord, we love you. We thank you. We thank you for today. We thank you that you have created everything. God, we thank you that you are a God who is everywhere and that you are always, always, always looking out for us. God, we pray right now for all of the people who are affected by this virus, whether they are at home from work, Lord, whether they are sick, whether they know somebody is sick, even if they are just scared. 
God, we pray for this virus, God, and that you heal sick people and that you take it away. Help scientists find cures for it really quick, God. We know that you made everything and you are in control. There's nothing that we have to fear because you are with us. God, I pray for these kids as they go through the rest of this weird week that we look for opportunities to focus on what is good and pure and lovely. God, you've given us amazing things to focus on. And so Lord, let us turn our attention to that because when we do and we don't focus on the weird things, we focus on what is good, on those good things that you've given us, Lord, that our week just goes better. Lord, help all these kids get on Facebook on Wednesday at 2 p.m. so that we can be encouraged and connected. God, we love you. We pray for protection for us this week, God. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Guys, I love you and I'll see you Wednesday.